Karibu mtazamaji, kumbuka ni George Kimeu kutoka Solar Cold Services Limited akijaribu kutofafanulia tu kwa kina kuhusiana solar installation katika majumba yetu. Uh, Bwana George, uh, swala ambalo nilikuwa nimekuuliza kabla twende mapumzikoni. Wakati msimu wa kwa mfano hamna lile juu ambalo la kutosha la kuweza kusababisha kwamba hiyo sola imeweza kutengeneza kawi ya kutosha. Tunaweza kufanya namna gani? Asante uh, sana kwa hilo swali. Uh, for solar vile nilikueleza kuanzia mbele ni tofauti mbili. We have the photosensitive mm. that is we call them solar photovoltaic. Uh, photosensitive panels that one as long as the sun light from the sun as long as mwangaza umetoka kutoka kuna mwangaza umetoka yes, kwa jua kutoka kwa jua even if it's rainy that solar they are designed to absorb that light and uh, unless you have not uh, installed the proper capacity of the system uh, uh, you will find that even if you get an exposure of at least 6 hours in a day which is possible in the with the kind of uh, weather patterns and uh, uh, that we, we we have here in Nairobi and most parts of this country uh, that will be enough to 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 to, to store that will be enough power to be stored into the batteries and run your house without issues kule kwingine ambapo huku kwetu sawa tuseme Kenya inawezekana kwa sababu umepata mwangaza kwa huo masama kuna mahali ambapo jua halipo halipatikani yalionekani yeah yeah that, that is true so uh, the challenge that was previously uh, nilikuwa nimeweza nimeeleza kuhusu solar photovoltaic peke yake. Challenge mkubwa ambayo imekuwa katika solar industry ni the storage of power. Na storage of power uh, of course currently we are storing power in batteries. So kwa you find in some countries like uh, the, the, the ones in the in the in the in the in the in the north pole and south pole you find the extreme north and the extreme south of the pole uh, you find they get the sun you know, uh, for a, for, a, for some very few hours. A few hours. Yeah, and uh, wakati wa winter na na wakati wa wakati wa summer, of course, it's a lot of sun. So you the the issue is you, you invest a lot more in storage, such that I am a sakidogo and by yako, you not need to you not need to to, to 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 be to have challenges of of power. You just make sure that you have as many panels as you can mm -hmm. and storage you have. But that does not apply in this country. In this country, what we have is, you know, 12 hours of sun and 12, hour, uh, 12 hours of, of, of darkness. So within those 12 hours, if you can get six hours of good sun, the system is, 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 is supposed to sufficiently supply power into your house. Now, wakati wa msimu mvua, the other system is the solar water heating system. Wakati wa msimu mvua, ni kweli unazapata, we are not getting enough heat from the sun, even during very cloudy and... Mwezi wa tano, mwezi wa sita, mwezi wa sita na mwezi wa saba. Kwa sapaka wa nane wakati yeah. mungini. Wakati mpaka wa nane. So unapata kwamba you're not getting enough heat from the sun which can heat water inside the, inside the system. So in, during such periods, we, 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 when we're installing the system, there's a way we embed a heating element onto the cylinder to make sure that during that time or a completely rainy day, you don't get interruption of hot water supply. You have uninterrupted hot water supply such that either we put a control unit or we put a switch. Most clients want, you know, a, a control unit because the control unit that we put, the solar control unit that we put, makes sure that, number one, there is a time factor. Si wakati wote unatarajiwa kuwa kwa bathroom ukioga kwa mfano. So we make sure that uh, uh, during the prime time of shower, that control unit make sure that uh, it switches on the heater. The, the other factor, factor number one on the control unit is time. Factor number two is heat. It has a sensor that senses the temperature of water inside the cylinder. If it is during that prime time of shower, then that uh, control unit uh, senses if the temperature is below, like let's say for example 50 degrees Celsius, then it triggers the heater to, to come on to make sure that it heats the water, let's say like uh, 30, 30 minutes or 15 minutes, depending on the size of the system, to make sure that during that time of period, that that, uh, that period of time that uh, maybe it's cold or something, or you have used all the hot water into the system, maybe you have guests or something, uh, you don't get interruptions in hot water supply. So those are some of the things that we made sure that, uh, that they are that taken I care of. Are taken care of. Kwa mfano, nimechukua isola nimeweka kwa 
nikishaweka nimemalizana nao kabisa kabisa ama tena nitahitaji wakati fulani kuweza kuweka kwa mfano ni, ni najaribu kuifanyia comparison na stima yes. stima nikishaweka ni kulipa tu bills zinaweza kuwa pengine ndio changamoto kwangu na sola nikishaweka pia ni hivyo na kama si hivyo inachukua mda gani ndio niweze kufanyia kwa mfano services zile zinahitajika ama yeah. namna gani yeah. thank you so much for that question now with sola uh, a panel whether it's for water heating or it's for it's for lighting a panel is a panel in the life of these panels either of the two they are designed to last over 30 years you know once you install it now even your grandchildren na itumia kwa miaka 30 bado itakuwa na kufanya kazi the life of that panel is over 30 years it's still there and the servicing that is required is very little uh, don't forget that this panel is designed to absorb either heat or light depending on the type of the panel so the servicing factor number one is to make sure that the panel is clean because of course this country is dusty they sure. dust all over sure so uh, just to make sure that the panel is clean because if there is dust that means what the, the panel is not absorbing maximum optimal uh, light, light from the sun uh, the same thing with water heating that dust will act like as, as an insulator so cleaning of the panel then uh, very little maintenance on uh, if it's a cylinder the way the connection the, the way the connections are and that can come like uh, for example domestic systems there are systems that we installed and uh, you know uh, five years down the line these guys are not even calling us for service but it is always recommended not to wait until the system break the system breaks down or uh, you know uh, small small things you need to change it's good to service like for example domestic systems you can do service for uh, like uh, once or twice in a year depending on the w where you are even the remote areas where there is not a lot of dust and all the, so much activity once in a year it's fine. so it's advisable that we do the services once yes, once, once, in once, once or year, twice in a year once in a year if okay. it's a commercial system like an hotel doesn't cost you much to do it once in twice in a year twice in a year twice in, twice in a year yeah but it's very little maintenance nothing much to change you can compare maintenance cost to the cost you will pay for a bill okay yeah. mm. Soko lako, unawafikia vipi, umeweza kuafikia kwa kupanjia ili unawote kwa sababu kuna soko ambao umeweza kuafikia kwa njia ambao inaitajika? Uh, changamoto ambayo tumekua na ni as, 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 as in the solar industry ni uh, information. Uh, watu wengi ya wajakua na information uh, njema kuhusu sola. Kutumia sola. Kutumia sola, umuimu wa sola. Hei ya najua kiona kikingi ya stima. Uh, yes. to inatosha. But solar is working. Solar is solar is the way to go. Na once we create that awareness, we can be able to reach even the most remote uh, part of this country. The informed class uh, sometimes is even the challenge to deal with or to talk to about solar. Because them uh, once they see power, that's all that they that, that they, they mind. They don't mind about issues of going green, the issues of uh, the advantages of not servicing a bill, for example, uh, the, the, you know, so many other factors. Lakini unajua wale wa mashinani wanajua kwamba wanapoangalia mtu anatumia sola, wakiona sola unajua huyo lazima ni mwenyenye ana pesa za kutosha kuweka sola. Sio vile. Mm. Kwa sababu vile tuliongea mbeleni kuhusu mama mboga, depending on the need of such a person, such a client, we have a product for everyone. Whoever needs light it may cost you as little as even 15,000 shillings. And you have light in your house, your kids are studying, you can do some little household calls. Yeah? Security lights even, they, they, it's, it's, it's good. Everyone who ever li sees light at night, you know, feels good. Yeah, sure. However sure. remote or however in, uh, urban that place is. So, uh, the, 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 the market is so big in Kenya, for example. Yeah, we, we don't need we don't need uh, we don't need even to export, assuming that we are producing solar products here. There's a the, the market is so big here, but we need to inform each and every other person about the advantages of solar. The government has tried, for example, because they were about to introduce, and I don't know how far they've reached with the same. They were about to introduce the net metering system, the system whereby you once you build your house or your school, you just put you just you know, color your roof with solar panels. You invest into the solar panels only and generate power. Now, at the meter, the meter goes either clockwise or anti-clockwise. During the day when you're generating power, of course, 
in most classrooms, you don't need lights. You're not using a lot of water. Nobody is watching TV because either they're in school or they are working. So during the day, all that power uh, is generated into the national grid, comes to the national grid. Now, during the day, the meter will go anti-clockwise. Yeah? So at night, because you don't have batteries, now you borrow from Kenya Power. For, for some like, uh, nobody stays very late. You know, most people will want to sleep from 9 or something. So during that period from 6.30 to 9 p.m., you take a little from Kenya Power, maybe to light up your house, to watch TV, to do some few household calls, to high on your shirt before, you know, before your assignment the following morning. Now at the end of the month, that meter will read. Now, look guys, this is Kenya Power. I've given you this number of uh, watts. So I've borrowed from you this number of watts. And then uh, depending on the system that they will put, uh, either they pay you or you pay them, or you carry forward to a su substantial figure that now either can pay. Okay. That is a system that is a coming. system that is coming yeah, up. Yeah. So that means you uh, uh, will uh, partner with Kenya Power at yes, least to yes, make yes. sure that this goes up to remote areas. Those are Have you managed to go to those remote areas because uh, they are not informed? Uh, as, a, as I mentioned uh, in our earlier discussion, we've just commissioned some uh, solar systems uh, in Wachia, for example, and so many other parts. In the, in the, I'm just mentioning the latest. So these are schools in line with the, with the government making sure that uh, uh, every primary school, every secondary school is powered. Uh, you know, as, like, uh, give an example like Wajir. Uh, wh wh when we went there, uh, once you install the solar system and the parents come and they see there's light in the classroom and all that, of they're course, so happy. yes, they're so happy. So they want to s they want to know what is this magic that you put in. Maybe you can put one in my house or things like. Now they start seeing the advantage. It's not a must for them to pull uh, cables all the way from the town to to to, to, to the school to the school for the school to buy to be to lit up mm. to, to, to to light up. Kwa hivyo kuna changamoto hapa ya kuhakisha kwamba watu wa kule mashinani pia wanajua kwamba waweze kuelezwa na kujua kwamba pia hayo yanawezekana kutenda. It is possible. Yes. Ah. Yes. Yes. <coughs> changamoto ambayo unazipitia katika kazi yako hii. Uh, the challenges are many. Uh, but uh, of course there's always a way forward. The main one, yeah. yeah, the yeah, way forward. yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, number one is uh, of course having that positive attitude towards solar. Uh, there may have been players previously in the market who, who like destroyed the name of solar. Mm. You know, like uh, I've heard complaints of people telling me uh, someone came and put a system in my house one year down the line, it is I not could working. Find it so, uh, you know, I, uh, unless you, believe, you make me believe otherwise, I have no reason to, to, to install a solar mm -hmm. system. So, those are some of the challenges that maybe some of the contractors are not being honest about, about what they're putting. But the systems that has, we have, we have, we have invested in, uh, we, we, we make sure that that client is satisfied, you know, uh, uh, for, for a very long period of time to come. Mm -hmm. uh, the batteries that we are putting, these are batteries that are maintenance free. You know, seven, ten years down the line, these batteries are still performing. Very really little, little maintenance. You know, you do, actually you don't need to maintain them. You, they're not like the lead acid batteries. Uh, the cylinders that we are putting, these are stainless steel cylinders. So, you know, 30, uh, 20 years down the line, the system is still up and running. Sure, yeah. that is and great. And I know That's there are great. clients out there who, they who, who, who can, want to go yeah, and fix who, who them. Can confirm, uh, yeah. who can confirm. What Vision can. 2030, Kenya is moving so fast and we are going digital and everything. What, what, what do you have to offer for Vision 2030 in this country? Yeah, this country, uh, the potential of uh, absorbing solar and making sure that uh, this country runs on green energy is big. Is is seriously big. Solar power plants are the way to go. You know. Uh, you, we don't need to connect everywhere with the national grid. We just need a good performing uh, uh, so, uh, uh, solar, 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 solar power plant, and that powers everywhere, up to including domestic uh, uh, power generators. So, uh, as we, we we are serious about about solar at the individual level, the, the individual clients and all that, and also we are we are willing and, uh, and 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 a lot more willing, and it started already with the rare program. Uh, to partner with the government and make sure that uh, you know, you know, you know, solar is, is solar is solar is possible. It is possible. Yeah. Nataka ni kupeka madaki kamoja.
uweze kuzungumza na mtazamaji pale nyumbani uweze kumjuza mawili matatu kuhusiana na mm, swala na kisha umpe namba yako asante mtazamaji uh, we are solar cold services limited offices zetu ziko pale elephant shop house of lusaka road uh, shimola tewa road uh, uh, utatupata pale go down number number 6 na we are we, we are willing to serve you and and and, and, and deliver performing solar systems uh, number zetu ni hizo 0722 0046 0722220046 let's work together let's make solar work let's light up our homes uh, yeah the, the light is what we want yes at the end of the day everybody is happy when he sees light even uh, god himself yeah sure the first day mm -hmm. made sure that there is light exactly so let's let's partner with God in making sure that there is light there's, uh, even when there is time for, it's time for darkness okay thank you asante sana asante nashukuru sana kuja kutembelea studio zetu asante sana asante thank sana you three stones asante mtazamaji mambo ni kama hayo unayoyasikia katika kipindi cha hoja kuu ndani ya runinga ya three stones tv uh, george kimeu ameweza kufafanua uh, kiasi tu kiasi cha haja kuhusiana na solar installation uh, katika majumba yetu kule nyumbani jukumu ni lako kuhakikisha kwamba unaweza ku kusonga kwa kasi ili uweze kuhakikisha kwamba unapata umeme katika kwa njia ya rahisi na kwa njia ya upesi kuweza kumairisha boma yako na kuweza kupata uh, mwangaza katika nyumba yako. Kumbuka unaweza kushua, kushiriki katika mjadala huu kupitia kwa namba ya 22330 iliyoko katika runinga yako. Kutoka kwetu tutakutakia usikivu mwema wa vipindi ambavyo vinakuja.